Hey folks, my name's Nate, and I'm the Outer Outdoorsman. Uh, today I'm out just getting, doing a quick uh, tinder collection, just seeing if I can find some stuff. Uh, I got a project coming up, um, I want to get some tinder practice in. Um, but today I'm just hand camming it, I don't really feel like bringing out my tripod. So, we'll see what we find. Keep you updated. Oh, now that I don't have a lot of families around me. Um, God, it is cold out today. It's like, what's today? It's mid-April right now. And it's not supposed to be as cold. It's like, it's low 40s, top 30s. And it's just the, it's the wind chill that's cold right now. But I'm actually walking by near where there's a few vernal pools. Um, just to check them out. Along with seeing if I can find some trees I'm looking for in some wetter climates. I'm also trying to do this without, you know, drawing a lot of attention to myself. Um, it's just, just the way I am. I don't like drawing attention to myself. But one of the things I've been one of the things I've been finding is around here we don't have a lot of good of the uh, tinder-esque trees but I always find the proper birches and the stones I want to work with. I always see them while I'm driving and never on parts that I feel comfortable stopping on. Oh, looks like we got good yellow birch right here. Collect some of this, not too much of it though. Fuck that! I don't remember that one. Find a place to stop and load up my bag. What I grabbed. A yellow birch actually looks like a white birch right there I haven't come to this park in a while but uh, okay but hmm, sure it next to this water and pack up my bag with some of the stuff and then we will continue on see you in a bit ah, so that was a good score um, packed that nicely into my tinder back and hmm, what's this the water body ah so this is really cool I didn't get a chance to go because they're around here uh, usually can't go out into the woods after dark for various reasons but vernal pools uh, these were just active these are really cool. Go take a quick peek. Studied these for years. Uh, done projects on them. I think I actually helped. I think I actually waded into this one. But during the march, if you're in New England, you know where these are. And you're in a situation where you need food. It's the right night. I'm going to be stocked up on frogs and salamanders. It's called Big Night. First 40 degree rain of the uh, first 40 degree rain of the year after the full moon or during the full moon it's called big night and you get a lot of cool wood frogs and spotted salamanders and stuff like that really cool I wish I could have brought you out to take a peek at it but I wasn't able to that night problem was this is the first year I nailed it on the prediction but anyways so I'm thinking about doing an experiment coming up soon I'm not saying too much about it because I don't want to announce it until I have all the bugs figured out. But this experiment is going to involve a community effort and it's going to be really cool. Uh, be really simple, very straightforward. I'm going to do a video on how to do it when I create it. Um, basically anyone can do it as long as you have a couple basic things, which most of us do. Um, so, I'm not going to say too much more on it now, because 
I'm gonna record later, possibly either tonight or tomorrow, a uh, video completely describing it. And a couple people know what it is, because I've, I've talked about it with them, but they know not to say anything. Um, but be cool. And if you'd be interested in doing a big collaborative research project, not really big collaborative, but just cool. I do these science projects because I, not for, you know, practicality reasons. Rarely do practicality things. It's just cool. Um, but just keep my eye open right now for more Tinder. And we will see some more. Actually, if I remember correctly, uh, Feral Woodcrafter, I think is the guy's username. Like his videos, uh. I think he's. I think I saw some of these. He called them ground cedar or something like that and used them. But I could be wrong. I'm not gonna dig too deep. But. Yeah. So. But. I want to keep doing some walking. See what I find. If I find anything cool, start up the camera again and we'll keep going. See you guys in a sec. I uh, went off the beaten path a little bit. Hoping to find something, but. No dice. Um. While I was up there, I actually had a interesting thought about the vernal pools. Um, how I said, if you don't go on that specific night, you can get a lot of uh, frogs and salamanders. Well, also, throughout the spring, um, the vernal pools are filled with uh, tadpoles. Really small black ones. And literally, you can just dip some form of net or sieve into the pool. And, ooh, it's one on a horse. I don't know who. But. i try to zoom all the way out. Um. You can dip anything that, you know, sifts out the water. And you will basically get... Um, a, at least 20 to 30 tadpoles. At least. Um, am I saying you should? No. Only if you really need to. But, eh, just a thought. Know your area, know your resources. I haven't really been seeing much since I eat one yellow birch, but I'm trying to find ones that they, you know, they're curling off so it's pretty easy to get. But I kind of wish I brought my my tree book I picked up. I was at a uh, conference last week, a uh, science conference, and it was a lot of fun, um, a lot of cool experiments, a lot of really cool things I learned. Yeah, there's another, I think this one is a vernal pool, it's a massive one. And how do I know this? I know people, also I've been in it. Um, <laughs> but, a lot of, learned a lot of cool things. Um, I love going to science conferences, it was a big, environmental one, which is what my degree is in. Um, it's just stuff I love to learn. And some things that were useful, some things that weren't, but cool nonetheless, like coyotes in New York City. That was a cool study. 
watching their patterns of movement. But I am really not seeing much. I mean, I know there's a frontal pool that way, which means there's water, which means some of the higher. So I may go up there real quick, but looks like part of it's marked off for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I'll turn around, go back to that those white birch and collect a little bit more. I really need to work on my tree identification. I'm really not a good botanist, but I'm also not a botanist. I mean, you're, you're, <laughs> there's probably someone watching us going, oh, there's that tree right behind you. You could use that one. But I'm still tuning my eyes to trees, not just the ground. So I'll see you guys in a sec.